With much in the news about Ebola, Plymouth Cinema hosted the movie Contagion. They invited the communicable disease expert from Beth Israel Hospital to talk about how this area can be educated about diseases that may affect any community. She's our frontline person here in this community. Connie is an RN, she has a master's in public health and lots of other credentials that make her just the right person for uh, the job that she has. Tonight at Plymouth Plantations, the film Contagion is being shown. And that is a very realistic portrayal of a disease that begins in another part of the world and then spreads as a pandemic throughout the world. I think little did they know when they were making this movie several years ago that it would sort of come back and be shown as an educational piece because it is so realistically done and in the face of the scary fall that we had with Ebola to be used and to plan to help people to understand because it was so well done and so factual. Every year about this time, we begin to notice that influenza will start to pick up. We have already been reporting it, and I have not had to report any in the Plymouth area here just yet. However, we will expect that it will begin to pick up, you know, at some time soon. So the flu is always of paramount. Ebola is very um, pocketed around a, a smaller area. Um, whereas influenza tends to always be more worldwide. It's tracked very closely, and we always know that it is going to be worldwide. Whereas Ebola, this was the first time, it's the 25th outbreak of Ebola, but it's the first time that it left the small villages in African um, in countries and then broke outside and got into the bigger cities, and then, of course, left the whole continent and came throughout the world. And that's the first time that that has happened, but realistically, Every year the flu is throughout the world. First and foremost, get the flu shot. I think one of the reasons that I'm here tonight and presenting what I am um, has to do with letting the community know just what the hospital is doing. All hospitals do prepare for emergencies. We have an emergency preparedness um, committee. We have people that head that up. We are always looking for emergency preparedness. Now that can be anything from the utilities that um, can be hampered, say the water or heat or air conditioning. It can also be that we suddenly get an influx of patients or we get something that is so dangerous coming through like Ebola that we want to have extra care of what we should do to prevent the spread. So emergency preparedness is built in into the very nature of how we work and is always being looked at and planned for. And so I'm going to share with everybody tonight what specifically we have done around Ebola. 